Hello, welcome to this video for the Mercedes-Benz 190E It's the 1.8 petrol fuel injection 1992 August the 1st registered So this vehicle has covered 64,000 miles and it had two private lady odors uh, Dealer registered at Lancaster Europa Sheffield back in uh, August at 92 which was a demonstrator and it was two private lady owners both in Sheffield area as well start from the outside so the bodywork is good and honest that's my description the front uh, wheels are the standard 15 inch wheel trims and the Pirelli tyres obviously you can see there are signs of the rim the, the covers being scuffed slightly which is to be expected because the car is now 29 years old the paintwork is good there are a few blemishes look on the bonnet there you just see a little bit of um, acid from some bird droppings there which we've tried polishing out that's the best we can do with that one the car has been detailed the stage one detail so the guy has come in and polished all the paintwork so it is very smooth no tar spots etc that's another Pirelli tyre that one but this wheel trim is actually in better condition than the other one obviously the archers that's what most people are looking at A little tiny chip there, minute. So yeah, really, really good condition other than that. Backs of the wing mirrors are good. The tiniest of scuffs there on the rear bumper on the plastic there and a tiny bit just there The boot lid's very good condition No scratches on here Because they usually there's a quite a few on the previous ones we've had before They seem to be on the cell line Ever ever so slight one there look Very 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 slight The rear has uh, a mixture of tyres, that's a Michelin tyre there The other side has a Toyo but They are both good, no wear on the tyres Now this fuel cap here It's actually a little story, as you can see It looks like someone's trying to <coughs> get in there with a key or something Which they have So the story is my business partner, Simon uh, back in 2016, the end of 2016 was at a petrol station and uh, this lady who owned the vehicle at the time just lived around the corner from him she stopped him and says, oh hello young man, I wonder if you could help me and she says, yeah, what, what can I do for you love? And she says, I've been poorly I've not used my vehicle for over a year because I had an operation I've just come out and used it again and I'm trying to fill it up and I forgot how to open the fuel cap and as you know, on like Audis and BMWs, uh, usually you press there and it springs out. But obviously on this old school Mercedes now, it's there, you press there. So she couldn't get it open because she forgot how to do it. So these are the key marks that she actually tried to, with her key to open it with. So there's a story, that's a good story behind that. So what happened was my business partner, Simon, he, uh, he asked her, he says, oh, this is a nice car, love. He says, if you're ever interested in selling it, let me know. And he wrote his number on a piece of paper and sure enough, five years later, she's, she's obviously she's too old to drive now. Uh, her son phoned us up and said, uh, "You left. You helped my mother with a petrol cap opening years ago, five years ago, and you've got the card in the uh, in the car with your name on it. So we decided to give you a ring and ask you if you want to buy this vehicle. So that's how we've acquired it. So a very good story. It's got the uh, Lancaster Europa sticker there from Sheffield." 
Let's take a look inside. It's just been raining here, so these are actually water spots from the rain. So these uh, vinyl door cards, manual windows, manual drivers, uh, wing mirror. As you can see, the seat is in good condition. Carpets are nice. There is some plastic rubber mats in the boot, which we put in the boot. I've only taken them out because I wanted to show you the condition of the carpet, as you appreciate. The sticker's there, so it's saying the next service is due at 78,000 miles. Steering wheel is very good condition. As you can see, the mileage 64,072 miles. So that's how far we've driven the car. 35 miles here you've got the very basic features which is good no trouble so there's no air conditioning I think 95% of these 190s didn't have air conditioning you were very fortunate if you did have it because it was a very expensive extra and then obviously down here you've got the uh, automatic gearbox with the uh, wood look surround fascia because this hasn't got the electric windows there's no cracking because usually the electric window switches fit here and because it's obviously it's like routed out the space it's a little bit weak on the edge and they crack so there's no cracking on this because it's got no electric windows but like I say most of them with electric windows have got cracks across there uh, the original sticker there which is good it's not coming off yet it has I mean 29 years in this car that sticker's done very very well as you can see it's got a slight peel on the edge there on the sticker which is nothing really considered the age we've got the original black bunk, uh, cassette player uh, and radio it's obviously it's actually tuned into radio too so the cigarette lighter and the ashtray there it looks like it's never been used it's very clean in there no cigarette burn marks or anything like that uh, the little flap on the black punk tape is missing whether that broke off over the years but it's not in the car unfortunately in here the glove box lockable glove box uh, inside you've got your two little drinks holder or should we say spacers they won't they say they're holders uh, and the glove box is very clean as you can see what else um, right up here you've got the uh, cream roof lining the black sun visors the the passenger one has got the vanity mirror the driver's one doesn't your seat belt uh, warning indicator there reverse mirror all oh, that's nice and clean down here and all the door seams here take a good look at these The rear the rear is very clean the first thing I noticed was I was impressed with these this is the uh, the nets for the back of the seats usually nine times out of ten again all these are stretched and broken and saggy so these fish nets are very good as you can see it looks like they've never been used so yeah very good and inside here we've got a cigarette uh, ashtray shall we say Got these rubber mats in the back i'll just lift this one up to show you i have taken pictures of the other ones as you can see the carpets are mint There's nothing under there the bit on the tunnel that's clean as well that carpet there there's no little annoying dog hairs or anything like that very clean uh the seats are nice in the back three seat belts the middle one is a lap belt yeah they don't do them anymore but that's a lap belt so the middle occupant had a lap belt, not a false seat belt. In the back, on the parcel shelf, this one's got no rear headrest because that was an op optional extra. Uh, very expensive to be fair, back in the days. It's got the first aid kit here, which I'm going to open now. It has the original first aid kit there with all the stuff unopened, of course. So it's never been used and it's all there. Let's pull it out. As you can see, it's 
it's all in the same place nothing's been moved the velcro strip and the strips are there they're not broken very good so let's just drop that back in there back in. let's look in the boot boot very clean it's got the carpeted bit there behind the petrol uh, tank uh, these are the mats for the uh, front I'll just pop these out so you can see let me just put these in the front Hang on. put these here for now yeah the boot carpet is very clean as you can see in there all the plastics are nice I, I, it's good to see that they're not scratched or dented at all these because i have known a lot of people throw things in the boots etc that's the service pack there so everything's in there even the stereo keys the blout pump uh, instruction manual the service book all the receipts sales receipts everything so there's a stack of papers there the uh service book with all the in fact i'll get that out service book all the that's the receipt from Mercedes that's the last service which was done just a few months ago so in here wait a minute let's put this down yeah as you can see the service book is here with everything in this service book you can tell so it was registered actually it was registered in speeds of Chesterfield I said it was from Hanover Lancaster it's not speeds of Chesterfield which is a Mercedes dealer down the road from Sheffield uh, and then it was Lancaster Europa maintained so in Sheffield so there you can see the service 1653 miles 12,000 miles uh, 18,000 miles 29,000 35,000 37,000 39,000 41,000 46,000 oh there's one there as well which is a non I can't remember I can't actually make out what that says okay but that's 45 okay and then here it says the water pump and the belt replaced that's the same Lancaster Europas again uh, Lancaster bends when it changed, yeah, that's when they change the name slightly, 49. Uh, and this one is Europa Mercedes of Sheffield, again, at 64,012 miles. And that's it. So it's even got the little booklet of stickers here, the service stickers, which are still here. So the ones in the door is stuck on. So the next service is due at 78. We'll put that back here. Yeah, underneath here, let's have a look under here in the spare wheel well. This is going to be a long video, this one. People like this kind of stuff. So, you've got this little round cubby hole in here. You've got an unopened, as I put, unopened brace kit. So it's got the lovely uh, polythene bag, which is sealed at the top there. It's like plastic sealed. Uh, the brand new brace kit in there, and it's for the models 190, 190E, 190e 2.3 and the 2.6 so yeah uh, and it's got the Mercedes there so yeah a lovely bit of kit that lovely bit right so under there you under there you've got the spare wheel uh, the Mercedes spare wheel you've got the jack there the tire which is a continental tire as well so yeah it's all there the warning triangles here as well so that's all intact the boot is not scratched nothing's been in it's all good got the electric aerial which still works as well the ground this side this door here the door card's nice there's no scratches no marks move to this side the driver's door that's nice there's no marks on there the seat's nice as well Unmarked, the carpet's nice. We just open the bonnet now. Let's open the bonnet. 
I'll open this a bit wider. You can open these a bit wider. So on these Mercedes, uh, not many people know about this. Obviously mechanics do, you just pull that pin there and you can push this bonnet even further open. So it's fully open. So you don't bang your head on the bonnet, yeah? That's how it works. So this is the baby 1.8 petrol engine. So yeah, it went to the Mercedes for service and even the mechanics there have commented on how clean this car is for the year. We've got antifreeze, well, we've got the screen wash in there, which is nice. All the plastics are nice. Inner wings, no rust down here. Back to the headlights, all clean. Battery tray there, no, no water in there. Even got the battery clamp there, at the bottom, so it's clamped in. A lot of these examples, people just throw the battery in, don't even put the clamp back in. Yeah, in there, that's a brake fluid reservoir. Oh, that's nice, it's dry. Strut tops, there's no rust around the strut tops. There's no rust along here as well. A lot of them suffer from rust now across here. So there's absolutely no rust there. All the plastic's nice there. The radiator fins look good. Headlights all look original. No broken lugs or anything like that. Under the bonnet there, uh, there's a sound deadening strip there, which 99% of these Mercedes 190s at this age now, uh, the foam on that sound deadening area, it just, it just rots away. So yeah, it's obviously fell off over the years. I believe you can buy these if you look very, very hard on the internet, you can buy these uh, sound deadening strips to stick back on again, but they'll be very hard to get hold of. And the uh, the air uh, air filter box there, that's very good as well. It's got the original sticker. It doesn't look like it's been painted either. It's in very good rust-free condition. Because, like I say, 90% of these start rusting uh, over the years, especially if they've not been looked after and parts in the garage like this vehicle has. It's been parts in the garage since this lady owned it. Tell, like, if you look under the, uh, the wheel arches, if you look here, you can see how clean it is. So, yeah, I think uh, one of the longest videos I've done. It's starting to rain here, so uh, I've been struggling today to get any videos done, but. Let's walk around it again for you. So yeah, the colour is smoke silver. It looks, to me, it looks in the light, it looks champagne. A lot of people would look at it and say that's champagne. But it is, it's smoke silver. Okay, so 18 minutes and 33 seconds. Thank you very much.